This is part two of Sunny's story. So this is the very last photo that we ever got of her before she became ours. And then here she is also. This is one of the last videos we got before she became our indoor cat. And it was, I was petting her favorite spot on her back. And then we came home one day from school and she had like the, the swollen eye and we weren't really sure what to do. So we, we thought, oh, she got in a cat fight, but we took her to the vet the next day. And it turns out that if we hadn't brought her to the vet, she probably wouldn't have made it. And she was shot with a BB gun in her eye. And so we took her in and we got like all the cat stuff from each of and stuff. And we set, we set her up in the bathroom. And we didn't realize, but she was shedding so much. And my mom and I are allergic to cats. And it was pretty, the first few weeks were pretty rough with like all her cat hair and stuff. and. Yeah, and she would just meow and meow and meow. And, oh, I don't know if y'all can hear, but that's her snoring in the background. But yeah, this was, I think this was the first week of her with us, and I was so scared that she was going to have, like, a, like, a meltdown or something. But that's her friend, her outside friend. She was looking for her. And then I think this was a couple weeks after the whole procedure vet thing. And her little, she had a little scab, and so we got her a harness because she'd always want to go outside. And this is the first, her first ever time being on the harness. And it seems like she got, she got it. She knew how to use it, but she started trying to run back across the street, so that's why we got it. And then here she is grooming herself in the harness. And she... She just loved attention, and oh, y'all can see the little scab there, but... <laughs> and she would sleep all the time, and she would just be so cute. And here she is dreaming, and her little paw, her little paw moved. And then Easter came by, and um, we, we had to go, well, we got to go to our, like, our family's house, and, or, er, our uncle's house, and that was her first time ever home alone. Here she is helping me with my homework. And she has a favorite rock outside that she used to sleep on. She doesn't do it as much anymore, but... She like she still loves to go outside. Oh, and there's her stuffed animal. That's like her that we got from I think it was a Hobby Lobby. And she likes to help with making whatever fabric cool stuff. And there's her first bath. We did it outside with the hose because we didn't want to do it inside because we were scared she was going to like freak out or do those internet cat things but she was pretty good we took her inside to dry her off She lived happily ever after with us.
like living with us? Isn't it the best? 